looking lovely. <laughs> Roads are lovely as well. Okay, so this is tonight's campsite. Uh, <laughs> slightly different once you get from the slums outside. It's a little bit different inside. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's looking good, although we haven't got to the camping spots yet, but it's looking good. Well, we'll see. Oh, I think there is. Down there, look. There's a, a grey box. Quickly, we've come into the restaurant on the side to have something to eat. We ordered a vegetarian pizza. Never seen one with carrots on before. And never want to see one again. It's really not great. <laughs> good morning from about 30 minutes outside Fez. We're going into Fez today, into the old Medina, and have a look around, see what that's about. We're gonna walk down the road, try and get a taxi. We've been given some advice how to do it. Uh, see how we get on. So it's just a random bloke walking up the road at the moment, just bringing his sheep up here, because that's what they do around here as well. So, we'll see how we get on today. Okay, well they know exactly where they're going on that grass over there, don't they? <laughs> first things first, we're going a taxi straight away. Um, and now we are... It's a bit different over here. Somebody already in a taxi, but they share the taxi well, over here. So now we've like just got right in. Out. Two minutes later, we've got the lady off who was in the taxi, and somebody else has got in as well. Um, it's uh, different, but it seems good. Uh, so we'll see how long it takes yeah, to get into yeah, the town. I think it's about a half hour journey normally, so let's see how long it takes. Excuse the rucksack, can't be too careful, picky buckets. But um, so far, so good. It's uh, a lot quieter than we expected. So, yeah, not too stressful at the moment. Long may it continue. Not quite sure, but we've come in the mosque and it's cost 20 dirham each. Uh, we're not quite sure what we've come to see, but we'll see, yeah, we might as well. I'll have to uh, try and find out what this mosque is called. I say mosque, I'm assuming it's a mosque. Yeah, the sign said it was a mosque. Obviously it's not a huge mosque, but it's not used mosque now, is it? It looks like it's... We're talking like we know. We'll, we'll look it up on the internet. Yeah, and, it uh, doesn't look like it's a used mosque. We'll let you know. The floor is beautiful, look at the tiles on the floor. Welcome to the extensive tour of the mosque with, as yet with no name, from the best tour guides in Morocco, Stuart and Wanda. <laughs>
Amanda's found a school and she's been invited in. Right, we've uh, taken a breather and we've come into this lovely little place. He's only been open two weeks. Uh, the guy has got a bookshop over the other side there and they've opened this for his wife. And it's a lovely little restaurant. Everything's brand new in here, like, like I say. Two weeks it's been open. And uh, we're getting some pasta and a couple of drinks. I'm having a mint tea. And I've got a strawberry and orange coming. Of something it might smoothie, be smoothie, I think. Might not. <laughs> we'll see when it comes. Mm. So sure this is pasta with vegetables, Moroccan style, and I've got to say it's lovely. The man's having a mint tea. I think it's fair to say we enjoyed it. <laughs> Without a doubt, the best meal we've had in Morocco. Highly recommend this place. Yes. We'll. we'll uh, We'll put the address on here if you ever come into the Medina at Fez for any reason. It's becoming the, is it the Blue Gate? Blue Gate. Blue Gate is pretty much straight down the road that's in front here and it's on the right hand side. Not even me with my wife. Or the person me to the people. This is Idris and, the, and, and his wife, Siham. She, she, Siham. Yes. Uh, she cooks the food and it's just, if you come here, this is where it is, it's a beautiful place. Ah. And that's what it's called. And that's his uh, carpet shop over there as well, if you need any carpets. Let me show the rest of the uh, menu, just so you can see. And it comes highly recommended from us too, if that means anything. <laughs> and Cheers, everybody, thank you. Welcome here in Fez to the Berber Moroccan Resort. There you go. Well, this is outside of the Medina. But we've just got to figure out where we came in now because we're a little bit lost. Well, that wasn't a bad day, all in all. Fez was quite good. You know what? Get, you get bugged and hustled a bit but everybody was really quite polite about it and you told them no that was okay with it a couple who slide little comments but all in all i'd say 90 95 percent great um got a real feel of the place ran i think it's called the medina and as you would have said we had a, a beautiful meal i can't think what the guy's name but yeah thank you to him and his wife fantastic food easily the best since we've been in Morocco by Country Mile so I highly recommend them if you're ever in the Medina in Fez I'll try and pin where exactly it is but now we're back at the van and we're just gonna chill have a drink and relax and enjoy probably the last couple of hours of sunshine before it starts getting cool again Look at our lovely chairs. <laughs> we are looking for new ones. We're just waiting to find our ones. Uh, this is a site. Up the top, uh, up the hill there, are chalets. Lovely chalets and there's a restaurant. And through here, this is shut at the moment. You can go around there, but uh, there's a kids' play area. Uh, I think, I'm not sure whether there's a pool in there. We haven't been over yet, but I think there's a pool there as well. Possibly. I'm probably completely wrong. And this is the site. all very level you just pick a spot pretty much where you want there's uh, electric hookups pretty much everywhere as well uh, very peaceful apart from the obligatory dogs barking in the night which you get everywhere in mainland Europe and it seems in Morocco as well but time to chill have my lovely little beer relax for a bit bought some dog biscuits for all the stray dogs that we see. We've had to crush some up. 
just to keep the cats happy. A little bowl of water as well. We could get a few kittens around. Nice and friendly. And happy cats. <laughs> to be honest with you, they ain't too keen on the crushed up dog biscuits, but they're better than nothing. Stops them going hungry. Good morning. They're not ready yet. We're just about to go on our way. Just been and done some shopping in the city. Got a taxi in there. It's been a good stop, this has for a couple of nights. But we're moving on. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. We we missed the morning. Well no, you've missed the morning, we haven't, we've been really busy. Yeah, we've been shopping for booze because we don't think we're going to be able to get any for quite a while. Yeah, the route we're taking now, we may not see many big shops for a few days. So, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're heading to Medelt. Medelt to start with. Perfectly pronounced. <laughs> and uh, then. Yeah, well, after that, uh, we're just going to keep heading south. I can't remember where we're going. <laughs> but we're heading south Mas towards Mas Sand Dunes. Yes towards the desert which is why we've stocked up with food um, the garage looks like we could actually do a market stall out the back of it but yeah we're all sorted we're on the road Stu's gonna now go out the campsite and he's going to drive a little bit before we get on the motorway I think um, oh the roads are just bonkers absolutely bonkers there doesn't seem any rules we've tried to watch what the people are doing when we've been out in our taxis and stuff but no I, I haven't got a clue some people give way on roundabouts some people don't people they just walk out like everyone's going to stop for them they don't even look so um, yeah if you get some more video then we made it yeah it's <laughs> like on the roads here see a spot claim it and then move out of people's way or they move out of your way depending who wants to do what thank you mate. so yeah we just look we're turning left by the looks of it i didn't expect that no normally we're turning left so we're, that's what it says ah so we're actually avoiding the big main road that i was worried about yeah we're just going to go through the slums now anyway let's turn this up yeah because Portuguese or the Spanish mountains, isn't it? Ew.
not sure where it is, Mid Midet or something, I think it was. Um, quite a big town that we came through, and there's a few Brits on here as well. There's a Scottish bloke and a bloke from Yorkshire. We've just seen as soon as we come on, weird. I mean, we've come, as you have seen, through <laughs> deserts and whatnot, and you see two Brits as soon as you come on here. Good morning from a absolutely freezing cold Morocco. Yes, if any of you there have been thinking, oh boy, you know, they've left the British winter, they're in Morocco in the sun. Nah, minus three this morning. <laughs> <laughs> winter cardion, flipping freezing. <laughs> all, all, the, all the bowls of water that have been left out for the dogs overnight around the vans, completely frozen over this morning. Yeah. I mean, we, we are a point. Yeah, we are in the Atlas Mountains in the desert, so I mean, I suppose really we can't expect much else, but yeah, a bit of a shock this morning and a, a cold. I've also got a cold. Yeah, man's got a terrible cold. I've got a little bit of, of a cold. I'm not <laughs> making a big deal of it. <laughs> no, to be fair, she is very quiet. She's quite ill. Um, last night, didn't do any filming on the sites, <laughs> but we had a cracking time. We turned up on the site, and there's a couple of uh, resident Brits live on the site. My new hero, Bob, who's 78 and has a 30 year old Moroccan girlfriend, <laughs> and uh, and we'll, we'll call him Mad Stu. Oh, he was the, the Scottish bloke. <laughs> they both live on the site. Uh, cracking fellas. Oh, really nice blokes. Made uh, us feel really welcome. It was like, well, they actually picked our chairs up from our van and took them over to their van so we could sit with them. So, you know, they were really lovely. Made us feel really welcome. Yeah, we had a drink with them. And then uh, another British couple who turned up on the site that we've seen on the previous two sites but not spoken to, they turned up again. And... Um, they joined us as well, so yeah, it was really nice, but we didn't do any filming, didn't think it was right. But today we are heading south again, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, more mountains, more desert, it's bound to be just as cold at night. At night, during the day it's lovely, really warm in the day, as soon as the sun sets, till it rises, blooming cold. Yeah, we've got a two and a, about two and a half hour drive today. Uh, hopefully today is more about the journey than where we're going again. Well, not that where we're going might be bad, but yesterday's journey was fantastic. So yeah. we'll see what happens along the way. If you see anything nice, we might stop. We'll see. But uh, hopefully it gets a bit warmer now the sun's coming up as well. It's mad though. We're on the same road for 120... Well, we've got 121 kilometres left on the same road before we come to an island. It's bonkers. That, ordinarily, that doesn't sound boring, but I don't think it's going to be. No, no. You will have hopefully have seen the journey we made yesterday. And it was... Oh! Oh, we're losing a bit of road. The road's disappeared. It, it okay. suddenly made a turn. Um, yeah, the journey yesterday was amazing, but hopefully you'll have seen that anyway. But, yeah. Anyway. Waffling. We're waffling. We'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, well, we're here. I'm at the campsite. It ain't bad actually, it's quite a nice one. It's expensive by Moroccan standards. I think it's just over a tenner with electric. I mean, the extortionate price, isn't it? But it's nice. We're the only ones here at the moment. Um, but we've got here early today just so we can get the chairs out, relax, sit in the sun, 
and just take a bit of a breather. We've both got a bit of a cold at the moment. I know, ironic being in this nice posh place, but yeah, we're me out. We're going to relax a bit. I'm uploading another video, hopefully, for YouTube and just do nothing. Well, this is where we're parked. This is the site. This bit's the uh, camping bit. Uh, over here, the swimming pools and that lot. And there's a restaurant. Uh, if I get a chance, I'll get out my chair and off my arse and I'll go and show you in a bit. Good morning. Good morning. Man's you, over there, you yeah, can't see her. You're not seeing me today. I have been bitten seven times on my face. I'm all swollen, I'm all red. Yeah, I'll stay over here. I'll, I'll, there you go. Morning. I have one. Oh, I'm not making a big deal about it. <laughs> oh, it's a good. <laughs> it's a good job. The camera's on. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we've uh, had a nice peaceful night here. I haven't really showed you the sights. Uh, it's uh, mega expensive compared to the other sites. I say it's cheap in the UK, but over here, bloody, we just pay like about two pound forty for a baguette. Yeah, which is. It's expensive. I'm about 60 pence tops in the in the most supermarkets over here. Yeah. But it, it's done the job. So we've just literally filled every last bit of water up and done the services to get our money's worth out of them. And uh, we've got a container. And it's 50 dirham for the electricity on this site as well, which is extortionate compared to other sites. I know yeah. it's cheap in the UK, and we ain't trying to do them out of anything. But I think they're trying to do travellers. To be honest with you, it's yeah. Not, to be honest with you, the gravel side ain't much to look at, but the actual compound's really nice. Yeah, and to you know to what? Toilets are a bit tired. Yeah, and you know what? We're sat here talking to you now. The sky is blue, and we're looking at the Atlas Mountains. Yeah. So it's we'll not show all you on bad. the way out. Yeah, it's not all bad. But anyway, we're going to Mizuga. Yes. And we're going to try and get on a site down there. Hopefully, we can get on there. Oh uh, it's got God, really good bite reviews. On my leg. Another bite. I can feel it. <laughs> Anyway, you can come along with us or you yeah. can just switch off now if we're bored you to death. You've got the best deal because you can come with us without the bites. Yeah, you don't get bit. And, and it's freezing cold. It's like being in the UK in the morning on an evening. It's freezing. Yeah. It's like minus three on the night. <laughs> Ridiculous in a desert. <laughs> just been stopped for the very first time by the Moroccan police at the they do checkpoints all the while if you've been over here you'll know you'll understand we were told you never get stopped Europeans but we have just been stopped couldn't have been nicer the bloke really smiley must have thought we were a little bit nervous he said no problem no problem and they were great showed them passports and took a few photos and that was it on our way yeah, so, it was almost like he was trying to reassure us that it was okay. Um, yeah, reg plate, he took a picture of the front of the van, uh, passports on his phone. Um, yeah, it was fine, isn't it? Two minutes and on the way, so but if, if it does ever happen to you, don't worry. <laughs> Just make you feel a little bit oh, but yeah, yeah we, fine. we were like, oh, we get pulled over. <laughs> I don't pull, I don't pull, it, pull the Europeans over normally. Usually we just drive straight through them. Because every town seems to have one at the beginning and the end. So we've seen so many of them. But yeah, they're, yeah. they're okay. We've probably passed through 100 of them in the first week. And it was a bit of a shock getting pulled. But now, nah, don't let worry if it happens to you. And if you're watching this in the UK, our friends, you won't have a clue what I'm on about. But you're all more fed to dodge anyway. They've probably been pulled by the police before in the past. <laughs> You know who you are.
I'm hoping me be bitten scabby face will just scare anybody off. <laughs> <laughs> I've been cleaning the roof of the van. 